Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is from Vila Chastain and today we will be setting up the Erin Condren Life Planner and the Hourly Layout and A5 Agenda in the Horizontal Layout. We're going to be doing a series of weekly setups for the actual move in month for July and I'll be going through the process of the planner setup every Wednesday in June so please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so it'll alert you every time that I post a video so that way we all can be ready for move in month in July and so today we're gonna start off with the mini calendar pages. They are at the front of every planner. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the life planner first in the hourly layout. And then I also have the A5 agenda in the horizontal layout. And as you can see, I have the flora design. I have the flora design for both, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the life planner first. Now I don't go through the process of setting up the name page and also the inside first because I feel like what makes it real is after you've actually set up the rest of the pages and then you come back and actually put your name on it. So that's why I'm not doing that particular page first. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm so excited. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I am on the mini calendar page in the Erin Condren Life Planner and I have some stickers here that I will be using. I found this particular sticker sheet when I was looking through my uh, old Erin Condren stickers. I'm not really for sure um what sticker book or edition they came from but i'll try to find it and link it below but i thought these colors were perfect because they actually have the flora kind of color pattern and i feel like you know instead of going out and buying some transparent stickers you just use what you have and make it work for you and then also i found some more of the foiling it has the gold the platinum and the rose gold and i'll be using the rose gold as well for that so i'm going to set these off to the side and then i will be using the cool for school sticker book there are letters in this sticker book that i absolutely love and i think that they're going to go perfect with the rose gold theme and so i'm going to be using these as well and i also did a video actually unboxing these stickers for the cool for school sticker book and i will link that below as well this was part of the teacher planner launch in april so i'll link that below so let's go ahead and get started i use my mini calendar pages for the school year for my children. So you have dates of report cards, field trips, early dismissal, no school, last day, first day. So I use this page for that purpose. Now there are an abundance of ways that you can use the page. Some people have a lot of great ideas, but for me, this is what works. So I use this these two pages for the school year for my children. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start setting it up and going through the process and then I will speed it up and then come back. If, I, if you have any questions about how I'm setting this up, then please comment below and let's go ahead and get started.
Okay, as you can see, I have gotten everything set up as far as the header. It's just a school calendar. And then I added some stickers uh, that have an eraser and then also a little planner or a notebook off to the side. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and start setting up the key that I want to use. And I'm gonna be using this tool to actually pull the transparent dot stickers off of the sheet because um, my hands are pretty big. So I, I wanna make sure that I get the stickers placed correctly. But I think it looks good so far. The top of the pages are in the rose gold and I think it looks good and it's in the school lettering. So I found that nice. So let's go ahead and get started placing the transparent dots at the bottom to use as a key and then I'll be back to talk about it some more going forward. Okay, so I have my key set up. So this color is gonna be for a half days. Then this color is for no school. Then I have a sticker for the first day and then parent teacher conference, report cards, and then the last day of school. Now, if anything overlaps on the date, then that's when I'll apply the transparent rose gold uh, foil um, to go around the actual date to let it be known that there are two actual um, activities that are going to be going on that particular day. Now I have my son's school calendar off to the side here so I'm going to go ahead and start applying the transparent dots and then after that we'll go over what I did, how it looks, and then we'll move on to the A5 agenda. Okay guys, we are all set up for the mini calendar for the school year. And as you can see, I applied all the date dots where uh, there was no school and different things like that. And it looks good. I'm very excited about how it turned out. And so this part is done and we're gonna move over to the agenda to start setting up the mini calendar in the agenda and contents page. Okay, I'll be right back. So here is the A5 agenda in the horizontal layout. And this is the mini calendar that's included with this. And this calendar is a little bit smaller. The print is a little bit smaller. So I'm not for sure how the transparent dots are going to work on here. I'll be using this gold metallic marker to kind of write because I like the fact that it matches the gold coil here. And then I'll also be using the same transparent dot stickers, but I'll be using the gold if any dates overlap instead of the rose gold to also match the coil. And what I like to do in my content planner with the mini calendar here, I like to do the dates that are based on the season. So we have holidays, we have back to school, the Super Bowl, March Madness, tax season, anything like that to where dates are very important to where I need to plan my content around. I'm going to be using this particular uh, page for that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And like I said, if you are doing anything different with your mini calendar pages, please comment below because I love seeing people's ideas and different things like that. So I'm going to get started and I'll speed it up a little bit and then I'll be back.
All right, guys, here is the mini calendar spread for the A5 agenda. This is gonna be used as a content planner. So everything on this page is related to planning for seasonal dates for content. And like I said, you can use this in many different ways. I know some people are using their planners for work. Some people are using their planners for personal, different things like that. But this is just what works for me. And to know what works for me, just might work for you. This is from Vila Chastine to you. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and then also join me every week in June for the setup to continue of our calendars for July. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. You have a good day.